Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Zimasa for all those who do not know me. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining us on yet another video. Now, if it is your first time here, you're very much welcome to this channel. Please do call your bike and feel at home. Now, if you have not subscribed, I do kindly ask that you click that subscribe button, like, comment, and share this video. By doing so, you do help this channel grow. Also, do kindly ask that you watch the ads. I know they can be boring but by watching the ads you do help me to grow financially on this channel and thank you so much to everyone who has been um commenting um interacting liking you know uh everyone who have subscribed watching the ads you are actually helping me to uh keep myself accountable like i had said in my other video that by doing so you do hold me accountable you do show me that you want me to create more content and thank you so much i really do appreciate each and every one of you i've been watching the numbers they are growing and thank you so much in this video, we are talking about the matter of AKA and tips that happened on the 10th of February, 2023, outside a restaurant in Florida Road in Devon. Now, seven people have been arrested in connection to this matter, and five of those seven people appeared at the Devon Magistrates Court. However, the seven still need to be extradited back to South Africa. They say that they do not have a problem with being brought back from Eswatini where they were arrested to come back to South Africa because they do feel that they will be safer in the country than in, in the country's prisons than being um, held in um, Eswatini. Now, I have questions with regards to this you know and they also gave um so the south african authorities some ultimatum on how their extradition needs to be done you know they've got some conditions that this is how we want everything needs to be done now i have a question with regards to them feeling safer in the country you know as a prisoner you're feeling safe in a prison you know um i don't think it's just about being safe in prison but I think that they know the soft life that they will be receiving in our South African prisons and they need to be closer to the people that they're actually working with so that they can keep briefing them with regards to this case, you know? And remember that these people are not only arrested for the AKA murder, they're also arrested for other murder cases that they committed within the country, that is South Africa. So they just want to be closer to everyone else, you know, so that they can get proper briefings so that they do not um, um, have to do phone calls every now and then. Now, they made some conditions, you know, they came up with some conditions that for us to be brought back into the country, these are the things that need to be done. First of all, they say that they want to be handed over to the um, prison authorities and not the South African police. Just tell me, why do you think that they do not want to be handed over to the South African police service? Now, this is my view. This is how, this is what I think. You know, this is what I think. You can just tell me on the comment section why you think that they do not want to be handed over to South African police. But I think that they do not want to be handed over to the South African police because um, there was an interview that was done by Newsroom Africa with one of the family members saying that the police, the police in KZN actually said the time they actually get hold of these demanded boys, they will actually delete them. Now, these people, they have deleted one of the taxi owners in Devon. So they were actually, the police are actually looking for them in connection to that murder case. So they're probably scared that should the police, uh, should the police get hold of them or should the police be the ones escorting them, then they will be deleted immediately. Or they are very much scared of the ill treatment that has been, that we've heard, you know, even in the Sons of Mayua case that police do force people to confess, you know, to make confessions. You know, a confession should be made voluntarily, but we have seen this a lot of times happening within our country that the South African police, you know, they do not treat um, accused in a very 
a decent manner so maybe that is why they do not want to be handed over to the south african police and they want to be handed over to the prison authorities now they also say that they want their sa based attorney to be present when they are being handed over to the south african authorities prison authorities we need to be specific on that south african prison authorities and not the saps now they say that they want their attorney to be there and i think it is because they want maybe to have some briefings with their attorney you know just to let them know okay this is what's going to happen this is what the way forward I, i'm advising them on their rights i do want to believe so and then they also say that they want to be escorted by the local police in the presence of the Aswatini, of the Aswatini attorney, and they hand it over to the prison authorities of their country. So basically, what they're saying, they're saying that when everything is being done, they just want their attorneys to be present, you know. Um, they probably will feel safer when their attorneys are present. Um, maybe they just want someone who will be on their side. I don't know. Maybe you can just tell me what you think with regards to these um, uh, conditions that have been put in place by these two Ndimande brothers, you know, it has caused a lot of havoc, you know, on the social, on social media and on the news that, wow, wow, you know, as a prisoner, as someone who is convicted of another murder, they have ultimatums, you know, they have conditions as to how things need to be done. They are the ones who are actually telling us that I want A, B, C, and D to be done in a particular manner. Now, remember, these people are people who have actually been on the run for a couple of months now, almost, in fact, over a year, they've been on the run. But when they come back, they're coming back and saying, this is what we want you to do. You know, you, you will do it the way we want you it to be done or we are not coming back into the country now just tell me what you think with regards to these conditions and um i will see you on my next video please do not forget to like comment and share and i will be checking out the comment section thank you so much for watching until the end